All right, guys, just back with another video. So today I have a, I just want to react to uh, Pierre Polyev with a recent interview on Breakfast Television where he was talking about Justin Trudeau's uh, soft on crime policies and he just annihilates Justin Trudeau. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual. The Justice Minister saying, well, it's a provincial matter. It seems like there's a lot of back and forth here. Do you Sorry. think people take the charges seriously enough? Because in talking with the police locally, they say, you know, these, these are extensive investigations they have to roll out. Is I don't think any up? criminals take any charges seriously mm -hmm. after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP Liberals. They know that even if they're caught, they'll be released on bail within minutes. We saw the uh, guy who, who, who shot the police officer last week. He was out on bail after violating his probation orders 24 times. So uh, you know, the Trudeau catch and release criminal justice system uh, signals to criminals, you can do whatever you want. You can terrorize, you can attack, you can kill, you can rape, and you will be out on bail within minutes to do it all over again. We need to get rid of that uh, catch and release, bring in jail, not bail, uh, mandatory prison sentences to lock up the criminals and stop the crime. On bail reform, and we know that our Premier Doug Ford talked about this mm -hmm. last week too because he's frustrated knowing that the man who's accused of shooting this Toronto police officer had quite a rap sheet, right? So he's saying something needs to be done at the federal level. The, the Justice Minister saying, well, it's a provincial matter. It seems like there's a lot of back and forth here. No. How, how do you get involved in this? How do you change maybe the, the directive if that is something that you would you like to You just have to, to repeal change? Justin Trudeau's bail law. It's C-75. We didn't have these problems before Trudeau. He brought in C-75, which brings in an automatic release uh, on bail for, it's called the principle of restraint. The judges are, are forced to give the maximum leniency to the newly arrested criminal. And so a after nine years of Trudeau, we have a situation where in Vancouver, the same 40 offenders were arrested 6,000 times in one year. 150 arrests per offender per year. I would bring in a law that says if you have a long rap sheet, you will be ineligible for bail, parole, house arrest, or probation. It will be jail, not bail, jail, not bail, when Pierre Polyev and the common sense conservatives are in office. Yeah, I mean, well said, right? And this is the thing, right? Justin Trudeau and these these judges can say it's a provincial issue all they want, but when you have federal laws protecting federal criminals, there's not really much you can do at the provincial level, right? Like shooting a cop is not a provincial crime. That's a federal crime, punishment under uh, federal laws. Justin Trudeau is the one who writes the federal laws, Bill C-75. Pierre Polyev said it. That's got to be just completely scratched, for sure. You cannot have people with long rap sheets just going in and out of jail because they're not going to take the law seriously. Now, to be fair, criminals don't usually take the law seriously. But that being said, if they're not going to, then they stay in prison. You don't just, oh, you rob someone. OK, come on out of jail. We'll give you another chance. Oh, you sold drugs. OK, come on. We'll give you another chance. Oh, now you shot a police officer. All right. Now we're now we'll take it seriously. Like, it's just it's it's nonsense that. You know, they're just going to sit there and, and think like, oh, we're doing what's best for Canadians and we're protecting Canadians. But you're allowing criminals to be released on the street after they just committed violent crimes or whether they sold, you know, fentanyl or whatever they were doing. They're just they're not being punished for it. So, of course, when they get out, they're going to go, oh, well, even if I get caught again or if I do something even worse, I'm just going to be oh, sorry with that. I'm just going to be released out on a bail. I'm not going to face the consequences for my actions. And consequences for your action was a really big liberal phrase, especially during the lockdowns. Well, if you don't obey, there's consequences for that. Well, what's the consequences for selling fentanyl and shooting cops? I posted a video yesterday, I'm sure you guys saw it, where you know, some of these pro-Palestinian supporters and protesters literally stopped Justin Trudeau from getting to his office and started like, attacking the van that he was in. Now, he's just safe inside some bulletproof van. He's fine. But that being said, the average Canadian who are getting tacked, even just for having a Canadian flag, there's people at these protests who have been attacked just for saying, hey, I love Canada. And, you know, saying death to Israel and burning our flag is wrong. And they get attacked for it. No one goes to jail. I mean, it's just, it's truly sickening what's happening in this country. And again, it all comes back to Justin Trudeau. And what's he doing about it? Nothing. Even when his own blockade gets attacked, he's like, oh, well, I'm safe. It's right, but Canadians on the streets are not safe. I live in the center of Hamilton. 
People say all the time they don't want to go outside because they know that there are criminals out there, as there are in every major city. But it used to be that those criminals, when they get caught, would go to jail. Now they're not. Someone could bug you, get caught, and then be back on the streets within 24 hours or a couple days just to do it again. It's it's really sad what's happening to this country. Canada should be one of the greatest countries, if not the greatest country in a world in the world. And over the past decade, basically, Justin Trudeau has done nothing to improve us. He hasn't even kept things, you know, stagnant. Right? If he, he if he just made no changes, he would actually have done a better job than what he's done now. But like I said, the whole purpose of his government is to destroy Canada, and he's doing a really good job of it, and we need an election ASAP so that we can vote this clown out of office and teach him a lesson that he deserves. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section of Pierre Polyev's message. I always enjoy uh, engaging with you guys, and I enjoy reading and replying to your comments. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really does help grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, everyone, and I will be back very shortly with a new video.